right over there is uh, a guy who looks like he's having a break from his job at Sainsbury's. Um, if that was a character in a play or in a film, uh, a lot of actors would spend a lot of time researching that, and whereas research is, is very useful, uh, you can waste a lot of time because really what you've got to look at is, you know, a worker, a Sainsbury worker is a label, you know, a policeman is a label. What kind of policeman is it? What kind of Sainsbury worker is it? Now, if he's fucked off with his job, if he's not having a very good time of his life, and he feels like he's trapped, what you've got to do for yourself, really, before you do any kind of research, is what is it in you, find in yourself what it is that um, makes your life dull, makes your life boring, makes you angry at your dis dissatisfaction with your life. So if you can find that in yourself, now you can do that too. You can do that in one very stimulating way, using your imagination. You cannot create a character on top of a character. You know, so you have you know the process of training. You know, is to get people down to this point where they realise what they really are. So you've got a multitude of people and, you know, we could say that all these people are characters. I mean, they're all playing a role. So, in a way, they've all got a mask on. You see, what we do at the Actors' Temple is try to get you to remove that mask and get to who you really are. The problem a lot of actors have is that they have this mask and what they do is, in pursuit of a character, put another mask on top, slap another mask on top. And what happens is, is you've kind of got two levels of bullshit bullshit squared so the real work on character starts on yourself you know once you understand all that it's simply a question of what is my relationship to you specifically what happened today to make it the way it is today what do I want from you and how do I get it from you